Your Excellency, it is no secret that the world's forests are depleting at an alarming rate. This is a cause of great distress to all of us here today. Your administration is giving great support to forest regeneration, and we thank you so much. The establishment of the Advisory Committee on Forestry, which submitted its report on the 6th of June, and the proposed Edo State Forestry Commission are welcome developments and steps in the right direction. Yes, you are working in line with the saying that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. In 2008, I made a promise to Edo State government to raise a 1 million trees for peace forest plantation that will create employment in the rural areas and support the state government reforestation. Mm -hmm. This is not an easy task for a small organization such as ours, but little drops of water make a mighty ocean. Mm -hmm. Since the inception of the Trees for Peace project, we have successfully raised over 270,000 forest trees in area BC 15-1 at Erio locality. And not only do we plant the trees, but we also maintain them in line with the best forest practice that can be seen anywhere in the world. I was deeply touched by the words of the President of Nigeria, President Buhari, when he spoke at the United Nations General Assembly. He asked Nigerian nationals to come and support education in their respective wards in the country. These words of the President echo my dream for the African child. 2,500 notebooks has been donated to primary schools in Erol and is a North East, East local government. Your Excellency, I would like to present some of the notebooks to you as a gift with compliments. I met your project manager at a, uh, at a three day celebration two years ago. And I was quite impressed as to the level of commitment um, to the whole issue of reforestation. For us as a government, it's an issue of concern. As you know, our forest cover has dropped significantly to less than 6%. Something that's of worry. That is why we commissioned a study by ProForest to undertake a forest audit of Edo State. And the report has not been very encouraging. But it also has given us some insights as to the extent of the problems and what we need to do. And part of what we need to do, part of the strategy, is to try and ensure that we protect what we already have. The Ehor Reserve, one of the areas you're, in, you're involved in, is one of those areas and one of those forests we will have to protect. Um, we will have to, um, I have, you know, reading a report last week, we will have to take some drastic actions, including revoking some allocations that have been done in that forest reserve. We will work with you as a state. We will collaborate with you. We will provide you your project vehicle this year. And with the Forestry Commission coming into place, we want to encourage you to work with us to accelerate the process of reforestation. We don't want to plant a million trees in 10 years. We want to plant a million trees in two years. And that is the message we want you to take back home, that you have a government that is very concerned about its forestry, a government that is willing to work with you and collaborate with you, a government that is inviting you to bring other partners on board to come and help us you know, make this you know, um, rainforest, this, so, so help us restore our heritage, to restore what we always have. 
we are suffering the effects of climate change in you know in several ways and several dimensions i mean it's going to be november i mean look at the kind of rainfall we still have um we've the deforestation is affecting our soil cover we cannot maintain our roads you know and we could go on and on and on we've lost so much so many species of trees and wildlife we need to halt that process and begin um, anew um, on that note i want to thank you i want to assure you that we will provide your project vehicle because we know what you're doing we know, we can see the work you're doing with uh, the little you have. I want to assure you that as a government, we are very, very committed to restoring our heritage. Because it is not by accident we found ourselves here. God has a reason, a purpose for giving us what he has given us. And we have no right to destroy it. And this government is not going to be part of that. Once again, I want to thank you very much for this visit.